all right y'all gonna make a video for you uh talking about my favorite knife but in the meantime right now i'm stuck in the mud here and the skitter man rode on by so i guess i got a minute to talk to you all right i got my phone set on this uh 50 000 pound tripod here anyway y'all may have seen this before benchmade freak it definitely gets some use and it's held up really good i really like this knife i do wish uh i would have got the one with the g10 scales and all it looks a little better but overall i think it's basically the same knife but i got a little fob on there or whatever you call it i'm not a huge knife guy all that kind of stuff although ever since i was a kid i carried one and stuff like that but back then i had um the normal you know two three blade folding knife you know uncle henry old timer case stuff like that which are pretty good knives but I wanted to get something a little better and a little tougher uh, those are the really good knives for cutting and stuff but the blades are kind of thin and you know and I grew up my dad carried one of them all the time and mo uh, most of the time used it for a screwdriver so the blade the every one of his knives that the tip was broke off of it but anyway this one here so far has held up to everything still opens pretty good and closes pretty good i put a little uh like gun oil clp on it every now and then and keep it working smooth my clip got bent out a little bit so i took my pliers and bent it back in you know quick easy and done all that kind of stuff I got this knife because I've seen a video of, uh, you know, somebody talking about how tough it is and being able to baton with it and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice having like a survival type pocket knife. Let's see. I think the lighting is bad pretty much anywhere I go. But anyway like i said take a few minutes to do this and i'll see if i can attach some clips on here but so far for me it stays really sharp it's got you know all the edge and tip is still intact i've sharpened it a few times i'm not a great sharpener but i got one of those uh electric pull through sharpeners and it cleaned it right up you can take the back here and strike a ferro rod with it so that's useful and like i said with the big thick blade i really like the axis lock a lot better than liner locks and back locks it just feels more secure to me so far i haven't had any trouble with it slipping and closing when it's not supposed to or anything like that the grip is pretty good on it this here it's like hard plastic with some ridges but this here is more rubbery so you get a little better grip there like i said i'd like to have the one with the g10 scales but anyway this is the one i got you can switch the clip from one side to the other if that makes any difference to you with it being a big blade like this and like I said, that uh, axis lock feels pretty secure to me. You could use it for self-defense. Like I said, I use it, you know, logging, homesteading, stuff like that. Cutting, whatever you need to cut. Like I said, you can strike a ferro rod with it. And, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. I bet that never happens to y'all. But anyway uh i have used it on a few small things you know prizing a little bit 
nothing too hardcore on it but anyway I have done some uh, pretty good sized batoning with it basically just seeing if it would handle it like that uh, video I watched said it would and all that but it's a really good workings man knife is what I'll say now I'm not sure uh, if they make a specific like belt sheath for it but I know you could find something from a different knife or something like that if you want to carry it on your belt versus in the pocket but I always carry it right on the pocket and doesn't get in my way doesn't bother me or anything and also I've been able to use it wearing gloves too still opens and closes pretty easy these are not the thickest gloves like snow gloves or something like that but anyway it works for me I'll see if I can get some clips of uh, using it and stuff like that but so far I recommend it uh, I know spider co is good there's some other knives that are good but uh so far I've had really good luck with this one and you know I guess that's what I'm going to stick with for a while unless the mood strikes me or something like that. But anyway, I've carried this one for six or eight months at least. I don't remember exactly when I got it. haven't had a problem with it, so, you know, I can recommend it to you. Uh, I've never did the Benchmade warranty, but uh, it's, uh, I guess it's pretty good. It's supposed to be covered and all that kind of stuff, but anyway like i said i don't know every detail on it or different knives and stuff like that but so far i've had good luck with this one anyway shape still locks up tight no wiggle some of the common working man things that you do with a knife maybe skin and wire you can actually cut the wire uh, I cut this piece with it it's not the cleanest in the world or you know the most efficient way to do it but if you have nothing else then uh, you can do that. But.
like I said, some things that uh, you commonly do with a working knife. Um, ever since I was little, I learned how to skin wire with a knife uh, versus having, you know, pliers specifically for that, wire strippers and stuff. But anyway, things like that. Something else I can think of right off hand is making, you know, an improvised funnel. I've used that trick a lot. Take that, stick it down, whatever you're trying to pour, gas or oil or whatever. You got a funnel, which it don't take much of a knife to cut a drink bottle anyway. Then you got this in here if you need to... Uh, dip stuff out like a tire sitting out with a bunch of water in it you take that and dip it water out when you go to mount it and stuff like that so million different uses you can use for a knife and uh especially a working knife you do a lot of uh kind of uncommon things with it because it's handy you usually have it on you and stuff like that and again if I could only carry one thing instead of this knife here it would be the Leatherman Wave Plus just because you got so many different options you got pliers and different bits and a couple of blades and scissors and all that kind of stuff but just for a knife I like this one 